pizza stones on any barbecue, you want to bring them up to temperature nice and slow. Big green eggs, put a starter cube in there, get her lit, place your plate setter on. These are optional 2000 degrees riser blocks that I've already been using for a bunch of stuff from tastylicksbbq.com. Place them on the corners of your plate setter and just place the pizza stone on it. Shut the lid, let it warm up nice and slow. So start with one cup of all-purpose flour. To that, add one envelope of Fleischmann's pizza yeast. Just on top, one and a half teaspoons of just white sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. Now just take one cup of warm water, 120 to 130 degrees, and mix it in. Once you have a nice even consistency, take three tablespoons of vegetable oil and mix that. Then just start adding one and a quarter cups of flour slowly. Add a little bit, give it a good stir. When it gets thick enough, we'll start mixing it up with our hand. Once it's not too sticky, get your hand in there and just start kneading it. If it's still sticking to your hand a little bit, add a little bit more flour. Once you have a nice consistency to your pizza dough, slightly sticky and formed in a ball, take it out, place it on a piece of parchment paper with a little bit of flour. Or I'm going to cut it right in half and make two smaller pizzas. Using the Fleischmann's pizza yeast, there's no time for proofing. No need to let it rise, you're ready to start making your pizza. Keep a little pile of flour off to the side, take a rolling pin, give it a good dusting, start flattening out your dough. If it's not perfectly round, it's not a big deal, it's homemade pizza. Once you have your pizza dough to your desired shape and size, take a pair of kitchen shears and just cut closely around the pizza crust with the parchment paper. Now it's time to get the pizzas together. A little bit of homemade sauce, Bigford's pepperoni, provolone, and mozzarella cheese. Start with your pizza sauce or your favorite spaghetti sauce and give it the desired coating that you like on your pizza. Sprinkle on some mozzarella and provolone cheese. And top it with some of that Bigford pepperoni. Now you can use any toppings you want. The options are endless, but I'm just keeping it nice and simple for the first one. On the next video, we'll get into some different crusts, how to cook them, and some wild toppings. Pizza on. With the sheet of parchment paper, we'll just slide right off the pizza peel. And you can move it around. Let this cook for a minute or two. The egg first. Take your spatula. Just go around, loosen up the pizza, and slide out the piece of parchment paper. Shut the lid, let it cook. After five minutes, crack it open, take a peek, make sure it's cooking even all the way around, and it's still nice and loose. Shut the lid, let it keep cooking. Let's take a peek. Oh, look at that, golden brown crust, cheese is bubbling. Let's get it off. Barbecue pizza hot off the grill. Now the big moment of truth. Let's take a slice, flip it over, and check out the crust. Look at that. Nice golden brown. 